Hello and welcome to Animal Watch and this week we're comparing the beautiful Czechoslovakian wolf dog with the equally beautiful Salu's wolf dog and the Volka Solby from Russia. Well, I get asked an awful lot about the differences between these three wolf dog breeds because they're all descended from the German Shepherd and the European Wolf. So today, Kumi and I are going to go through absolutely everything about all three breeds, including their history, looks and temperament, so you can understand what the fundamental differences are between these three incredible wolf dogs. First of all, the Czechoslovakian wolf dog. Looking like a European wolf and descended from the Carpathian wolves that roam the Carpathian mountains, mixed with German Shepherd police dogs, the Czechoslovakian wolf dog is a beautiful and powerful animal. With approximately 25% wolf blood and 75% dog blood, this is an established breed that traces its original lineage to an experiment conducted in 1955 in the previous Czechoslovakia before the country divided. After initially breeding working line German Shepherd dogs with Carpathian wolves, a plan was worked out to create a breed that would have the temperament, pack mentality and trainability of the German Shepherd dog and the strength, physical build and stamina of the Carpathian Wolf. But why? The breed was engineered as attack dogs for use in military special operations by the Czechoslovak Special Forces, Commandos and for border control dogs. Standing at around 26 to 28 inches for a male and 24 to 26 inches for a female, the average weight is approximately 28 kilograms up to 40 kilograms. The Czechoslovakian wolf dog generally comes in one colour, wolf grey, which looks like a wild European wolf colour, but the shade of the coat can vary from darker grey to fairly light beige and silver tones. The eye colour can be brown through to bright yellow amber. They are responsive, intelligent dogs who are highly trainable. Also confident, but due to the wolf lineage, some Czechoslovakian wolf dogs still show fear from time to time. A good amount of socialisation is needed when raising one of these dogs to remove dog and people fear aggression. But with correct upbringing, these are strong and stable dogs who make wonderful house companions to adults and larger kids alike. Right, so despite their army breeding, the Czechoslovakian wolf dog is now generally kept as a companion pet and used in the show ring. They do have an edge to them, so they're not for the amateur. Now, if Kumi doesn't like someone, she can give them a little bit of a nip, so you do have to have eyes in the back of your head. However, that could be from the German Shepherd background, unlike the wolf background. And she's also very, very good with children, and she's been raised with my kids, and she's absolutely lovely. However, I would not recommend this breed for very, very small children, simply because they're ever so boisterous and jumpy and scratchy, and very, very likely to knock your kids down. They're also very, very quiet. Kumi here never barks. I get a little bit of a howl from her every now and then, but generally, she's a very, very quiet dog. And now the Salu's wolf dog. The Salu's wolf dog is often confused with the Czechoslovakian wolf dog to the untrained eye. But the breed is very different. Firstly, they come from a totally different breeding program and country. In 1935, Dutch breeder Lenthard Salu's bred a German shepherd male to a female European wolf, which he obtained from the Rotterdam Zoo in order to produce a better and more natural working dog than the German Shepherd. The result was not entirely what Salus had hoped for. The breed he produced seemed to exhibit high amounts of caution, was reserved and lacked the ferocity to attack. In the past, some Salus wolf dogs were trained as guide dogs for the blind and as rescue dogs, but most dogs of this breed are currently simply kept as companions by people who understand the nervousness of the breed. 
Liken the most to the wolf genetically, many Salus are mid-wolf content and have been DNA tested and found to be carrying as high as 60% wolf blood. They differ to the Czechoslovakian wolf dog in that they have different coat colours and can come in red liver colour, wolf grey and white. Eyes can be brown through to yellow amber. They weigh a similar weight to the Czechoslovakian wolf dog and are also found to be of a similar size which is roughly the size of a wild European wolf. However, some taller and leggier ones are quite common. The largest difference is their temperament, as they would never make an army or police dog like the Czechoslovakian Volker Solby wolf dogs and are much better suited as pets. The socialisation they need is far more than both the other two breeds in order to help them with their fear issues and some will never ever be confident dogs no matter how much help they are given. So one owner for life is an absolute necessity. Well, I've met many Salus wolf dogs and they are very, very different to the Czechoslovakian wolf dog simply because they were bred as assistant dogs and not army dogs. The ones that I have met have been generally very, very timid and only really very accepting of the people that own them and their close family. So if you're thinking of getting a Salus wolf dog, you need to think about things like when you go on holiday, who's gonna look after them? Because they generally don't like strangers. And if you go away and you're leaving them with people that they don't particularly like or they're scared of, you're gonna leave them in a very, very stressed situation. They are incredibly loving and gentle wolf dogs and beautiful, beautiful pets to have. But, very, very different to the other two breeds, the Czechoslovakian wolf dog and the Volkosobi. And finally, the Volkosobi wolf dog. The Volkosobi is probably the most similar in looks and character to the Czechoslovakian wolf dog, as it too was bred for the army and for attack work. However, has been bred from a totally different species of wolf and from a different line of police German shepherds with current wolf content being claimed at around 25% wolf and 75% German Shepherd, this seems to be the desired content for dogs who can be trained effectively for army and police work. Scientists and animal experts at Russia's Perm Institute for Internal Troops developed the wolf dog program in the late 1990s. They wanted to create a dog breed with the explicit purpose of guarding the Russian borders after the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991. The first successful pups came from a sociable female Caspian Sea Wolf, otherwise known as a Steppe Wolf, and a top military male German Shepherd. Russian wolf dogs take on a variety of specialised tasks. Some are trained specifically to track mines, others are trained in drugs and alcohol detection, and every checkpoint has three or four tracker wolf dogs. Weighing in at a similar weight and standing at a similar height to the Czechoslovakian wolf dog and the Salus, there isn't much in the three breeds to differentiate here, just simply their origins and the type of wolf used to create the breeds. Coming in a slightly different looking wolf grey to the Czechoslovakian wolf dog, if both were stood side by side, you would be able to tell them apart. The bone structure of the face and the mask is also very slightly different. However, the Volkosobi is a mysterious wolf dog, as the Russian army will not allow these dogs to be sold as pets worldwide, as they are considered to be purely the property of the Russian army. So good luck if you want to own one. Now, in theory, the Volker Sobi and the Czechoslovakian wolf dog should be very, very similar because both of them were bred to be army and border patrol dogs. However, they are both bred from completely different wolf species. We've got the Volker Sobi come from the Caspian Sea Wolf and the Czechoslovakian wolf dog has come from the Carpathian wolf, which means that both could be very, very different to one another. They've both got approximately the same German Shepherd's blood. However, the lines of German Shepherds, their disposition might vary somewhat. So I can't say whether the Czechoslovakian wolf dog in temperament is exactly the same as the Volker Sobi, but certainly in looks that they are very, very similar. Well, I do hope you enjoyed this episode of Animal Watch and I've been able to explain a little bit more clearly to you about the differences between these three very, very similar wolf dogs. 
And if you'd like to find out more about those individual breeds, I have made previous episodes on all three of them, and I will leave links to all three of the episodes right at the end of this film. If you enjoyed this, then please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to Animal Watch by clicking the button in the bottom of the screen. And be sure to tune in every single week when I will be bringing you more incredible episodes on dogs, wolves, animal rescue and conservation. And feel free to ask me any questions in the forum below. Bye for now. Bye.